Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here. Fantastic Friday upon us right now for the IRTM Fabio Soto at the Golden State Open. And with me is the Iceman. Iceman, welcome. Very good morning to you. And how cool is this? This is unbelievable for a, six, a round of 16 matchup with Kane Wazelinczyk and Conrado Moscoso. So it's awesome. Fabio, I want to give kind of a tell of the tape really quick. Yes. Just a quick overview here. Uh, Kane's uh, record on tour is uh, one, 6 27 and 59 with Corrado 74 22. Kane has a 6 0 lead in their history. And uh, there we go from a history standpoint. So we are off and running. Excited. Just kind of give you uh, the age. Kane's 42 years old. Corrado is 28 years old. So 42 years young. Kane Wazalencha coming in here and, uh, you know, glad to see Kane uh, coming back after at the Boston tournament that we had just under a month ago. It was fantastic display and uh, Moscoso just really ready to get some taking care of business here. And uh, Moscoso currently ranked number three on the tour. That's a bomb. A serve. Yeah, beautiful, good angle. Stayed off the back wall, two bounces before hit the back. Awesome serve. Our ref today is Nicholas Rifle, so we appreciate him stepping up and refing today. Let's go also with the serve. Kill shot down the line, Moscoso. Can't do anything against that return of serve. And, you know, that's the thing we're going to see a lot. I mean, Kane is going to challenge Moscoso. As we know, Moscoso has a really strong backhand. So Kane is going to challenge him for sure. Kane coming out with the drive serve. He was predominantly Nick Lobbing yesterday, Fabio. It's a point for Moscoso. Very hard C serve right there. Came off the back. Conrado had an opportunity, just skipped it in the front. Uh, but it did wrap around and come out the back, so Kane continued to bring in the drive serve. Just short. That ball didn't come off the back wall. That's what you were talking about uh, last night, Ice Man. It's just that it's so difficult here with the ball. And, and you know, obviously the, the glass and it's black. And, you know, it's just not going to come off that. So expect a lot of cut shots. Yeah. Uh, as hard as uh, Corrado hit that, too, it still didn't come off the back. A missed opportunity there in front court by Conrado. Kind of getting settled in, though, right? You got to get the juices going, get some sweat going. You'll see those, uh, I think, fall a little bit later in the match. Well, people don't realize when you're watching on, you know, at home or, or work, wherever you are, how cold it is here. So, Yeah, it is chilly. We're uh, the stadium courts on the inside of their tennis court area. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty chilly here right now. I actually stepped on the court uh, earlier today to same. It's not any warmer in the court no, on the outside of the court. It, it is not. That's such great position by Kane and great hands in the front court. Just went straight in and out with a nice rollout. This is definitely going to be a chess match. I, you know, very strategic. Of course, every serve, every shot is calculated meticulously. That's a, you know, that's a shot right there. I it's mean, just his Knicks were yesterday were so good, and they are again this morning. Well, listen, one thing I think we, it's it, it's worth, uh, you know, so let, let's just say betting on is how many ceiling shots is Kane going to make throughout the match? Because you're not going to see him do many. He's total offense, of course, as you know. Like, Whoa. He, like even then and there. <laughs> You, you even then and there yes like when he could you know you and i would have made a ceiling shot right there probably yep. that was 39 feet back yep. but him no he'll 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 kill that 39 foot splat shot by kane he's warming up and that was brilliant
Good pass. Again, the ball's not going to come off. It's as hard as they hit, and it's not going to come off the back. And uh, came with that splat shot, and now passing to the right, kind of opening it up the court there. Colorado's going to have to decide which one he wants to uh, to cover. Let's go, so great opportunity there. Side out, one serving five. So it's a five point run now for Wazalanchik so far. Great pick up by Moscoso. It's really King. leaving no margin there. And that's the thing about it, uh, Iceman. It's just not, you know, just making the kill shot, just leaving no opportunity for at least your opponent making a comfortable or decent shot, rather. Some great gifts by Conrado. Kane finally put it away. That's, it, it, yeah. I mean, his Nick Lobs are just really on point. Like, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but they're uh, setting up Kane for either a third shot based off, off the return or short hopping off the glass like that. It's very difficult, as you can see. So he's going to stick with the Nick Lob. Wow. A fantastic shot there by Moscoso. It just wasn't as deep, so he's able to get his racket out in front of the ball and, and do that uh, pinch to the left corner. But listen, now he realizes he needs to take a riskier shot, and Kane now knows that he's not afraid to do it. Ace serve. We had a, a very good vantage point here, Iceman, <laughs> to see that serve, and it just came directly in that corner. Yeah, right on the corner, didn't wrap around or anything, kind of hit the crack and died. So that's where... So Kane's six-point run came to an end right there. Uh, What's the point? Kane looking for a hinder. Nick called the ball down. Conrado's had two aces in this match, and that's really been where he's, you know, been able to make some hay was yeah. with his drive serve. One of his ultimate weapons. And another one, beautiful, right over the line. There Two bounces go. before the back wall. That's three aces from Conrado in this match. We don't see as many footballs, foot faults as we used to with Moscoso's serve. He's improved that a lot. His technique has improved as well. Oh. So replay, listen, I can't disagree with the referee on that one because he had a down-the-line shot. He, he had did. Crossbow. You know, if he wanted to go for the pinch, I understand. But, uh, you he know. He doesn't have to give him the pinch. No, r rule doesn't say that he has to give him the pinch for it to be an avoidable. Four serving six. I mean, I, I would have took the shot to the left. He had an opportunity to get the point. So, yeah. uh, now we got to go back to replay. <laughs> nice. Wow. Missed opportunity there by Moscoso. He knows it. I want to take this time to say hello to everybody watching. Fantastic Friday is underway. Remember, like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media throughout the day. Round of 16s, quarterfinals. Of course, want to thank our sponsors for making this event possible. Of course, IRT Partners, Gearbox, Racquetball, MyPillow. Of course, sponsors such as KWM Gutterman, Zurich Construction. Oh, that, that would have been cool, right? Yes. <laughs> We've seen it happen before, so between the league. More often than not, that's for sure. But definitely, uh, yeah. Thank you for all the sponsors. Mm -hmm. Are you watching in Facebook? Tell us, what do you think is the outcome of this event? It's too early to tell. Let us know who you think is going to win. Oh, I, now I can see an argument for that, but there I is can't. none from Kane. So we hold up with the safety replay. Yeah. 
Guys, keep sharing it out there. Uh, we appreciate you watching this morning. Just missed coming over the line. It, but it was short, but it was, yeah. I mean, he's really, he's really serving at a high level this morning, Fabio. Yeah, very close. I'm probably taking his time. Can't try to top spin slice that one. Yeah, he noticed when he was going towards the side wall, it wasn't going to wrap off the back wall and try to get it, his racket behind the wall. It's a really good Z serve to the forehand. So five serving six. Side wall, side wall, front wall. Yeah. A four-point run for Moscoso. So it's a good offensive sequence for him. Good pickup by Moscoso, despite the obstacle. No. Oh. So replay is called. You know, I I can't say no to that one. I mean, definitely unintentional, of course. He but was, he was on the floor. The ball was close to him, yeah. so it kind of impeded Kane's of yeah. uh, attempt not to get to the ball. Not whatever would have liked, of course, but it is what it is. Close. Good intention, though. Try to splat roll that one out. Penrado continuing to short hop the Nick Lob off the side wall. Left it up for Kane. Missed opportunity for Kane on that. Penrado back in the box. Drive serves have been on point this match so far. Down the line. You know, I, I don't blame Kane for trying that one. That that's a that's a good guess. But again, Moscoso's body language is saying different. That was a great another great serve. Serve return kill for Conrado. And his uh, as you mentioned, you know, his his drive serve is on point. And, you know, that's a good opportunity for him. Let's see what happens. Six six. We're tied in game one. That's an ace. First time he's gone down to the right side to the backhand, and mm -hmm. uh, now he's got both sides of the service box working for him. Well, that's the thing you want it because you know he's very good on that drive serve on the backhand, but right now, so far, it's been working well. Short. Yep. Moscoso missed an opportunity there. Big opportunity right there. Another good Z serve. Yeah, but he didn't encroach down. Like, he just wanted to gain on, on his feet. And, you know, for a guy at his level, of course, it's going to work. But back to basics sometimes. Court position. I like, uh, you know, the stance. But right now, Kane has to think about tying this one up. He's down 6-7. to seven. Kind of an overstep. You know, you know how uh, you can tell how good this match is and how people are looking forward to it. 
you got a lot of pro players here watching this match. Yes. I see plenty of them sitting down the, in the stands and watching this match. So they're looking forward to it, no, no doubt. So, so just to let people know, after this match, our next matchup is going to be Jake Bredenbeck versus Jaime Martel. Okay. That is up next after this match. Nice by Kane stepping up and getting that Z before it hits the side wall. That's what he needs to do. And you know what? I'd like to see Kane go back to the Nick Lob. I think really that's where he's been getting his opportunities. I know uh, Conrado's been uh, short hopping it. Yeah. Nothing really effective coming off of that. Uh, but he's going to stay with the drive serve. That's an ace serve and for Kane. And he just Kane. made me a liar there by <laughs> acing him to the right. Well, he, he's, <laughs> he's, hey, he's I'm okay with that. He's mixing it up. You know, he, <laughs> yeah. he's still tweaking. I mean, as you, as you mentioned, you know, in the pregame, his record versus Moscoso is 6-0. Oh. So yes. he, he knows what he's doing. Just the level of anticipation that Moscoso has to have. You know, look at his sprint, how fast he moves to receive serve. Wow, what a, what a stunning turn of events right there. <laughs> you you think he was going to do just like a, a pass down the line, but no, just tweaks that corner. Yeah. Came with really great hands in the front court to do that right corner pinch. He was bedded down in the service box waiting for that return. Staying with the drive serve here. Good driving effort. Yeah, you know, not a whole lot of pace on it. The ball was no. just up low, but he didn't know which side he was going to go to, if he's going to pass or, you know, go straight in. And uh, he put that right corner over there, and it was up a little bit with, with low pace, and, and Conrado couldn't get there. So, uh, And that's what we're going to see, Iceman. We're going to see <laughs> both of them going to fight for every point. Of course, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, our sponsor, Zurich Construction, for our safety timeout. Of course, Zurich, uh, one of the IRT sponsors, very glad they're always concerned with player safety, constructing athletes and building people. I want to thank them for their support. So Kane regains the lead. He's now leading 9-7. to seven. Iceman, how quiet is it here with people it's just... Focused. And it really is quiet right in here. Yeah. Uh oh. That I don't like. Let's take a look at this replay right here. Look at the sequence. And Kane right there tapping the ball, but Conrado between the legs. Yeah, it's 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 a clean play. Looking at the replay, I don't like that tab that Kane did on the forehand though. He just left the ball with two feet up in the air. He gave that to Moscoso. He gave him an opportunity. Moscoso's Moscoso's too quick. To, you yeah. know, he's he's long, lanky, and fast. Yeah, he's uh, maybe a step ahead. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, probably a step ahead. I mean, th that shows you the anticipation, the experience that he has. Kind of seeing where the ball's going to go. Oh. He didn't have his, he had his racket up. Yep, he had his racket up. He had his racket up. I saw his racket up. Yeah. Let's, let's take a look at the replay right here. Uh-oh. That was a technical, maybe, I don't know.
Well, I guess it's safe to say he's not happy. Let's see, Iceman, if he takes this and moves from fifth to sixth gear. Uh, it sounds like it by what I'm hearing on the court right now. Let's, let's see. Here we go. Just checking brackets down. Uh. Well, ball doesn't lie. I think we're going to see a timeout here in a second. He's going to try to calm him down. Kane's fired up, and the crowd's starting to get into it here. So 10, serving 7. I'm actually surprised he didn't take a timeout, but we'll see how this rally plays out. It would have been wise, I think, for Moscoso just to, you know, kind of ice the kicker, if you will. Back it's up. Pass. Interesting bounce. Interesting bounce. And, you know, I love the adjustment that both Moscoso and came to, to that because that play was just out of sync for them with that bounce. So a five-point run so far. Timeout taken. Yep, I figured that was coming. Very so. wise of Moscoso. Timeout taken. Players will take a one-minute break, and we will as well. We'll be back here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time is about to expire for this. So I, I got to ask you, Iceman, you know, that attitude that we're seeing right now from oh, yeah. Kane is the demeanor that's clearly changing. You know, what does that mean for the rest of this match? Well, he's fired up right now, and he's trying to prove a point that he feels like he got a bad call there, and he was looking at Como to potentially say yes, or, you know, I, I took my racket down and a little bit of uh, chatting there, and, and Kane's still chatting with, uh, with the ref, Nicholas Rifle. So uh, I think he's, he's, got, he's on a mission right now, and I expect it to continue. Right now, Wazalenchuk is leading 11 to seven. He's in a uh, five point run so far. Skip ball. That's a skip. That's a skip. Yep. Of course, one of our sponsors that we want to thank is One Wall Ball. Let OneWallBall.com design your custom racquetball apparel. At OneWallBall.com, we don't only cater to the outdoor athletes, we can customize your indoor outdoor gear so you can look your best, look good, feel good, play good with OneWallBall.com. Make sure to check them out. They're the official apparel provider here at the 2023 Golden State Open. Just a bullet of a shot yep. right there down yep. the line. Love it. Kane's through, been through the battles over the last 15 years with some of the top players in the world, so none of this is going to affect him. Just that uh, that little racket incident just fired him up even more, and he's ready to try to close his first game out. Try serving. Yeah. Ball came into the middle off the sidewall. The game was trying to do a jam serve, and let's go, let's go right there. Oh, 
And racket over the head. Gamesmanship continues. <laughs> That's going to be a point. Well, <laughs> this just got more interesting. <laughs> it is very interesting. He put his racket up. Como saw him, messed it up. Let his racket down. Went into the service motion. Can you put his racket back up? He finished his service motion, uh, serve out and awarded a point. Good shot by Kane, good court coverage. That's what's going to happen. He's going to fight for every point. So Kane's, Kane's working Nick here. Yes, he is. Not only for this game, no. but for the rest of the match, right? Yeah, of course. Yep. I mean, we, we've seen the greats do that a lot. I mean, remember Cliff doing working the referees a lot in the day, and it was just not only fascinating, very entertaining. Do you see Nick budging or fidgeting at all with any of his calls based on what he's been dealing with this first game? Yeah. So far, he's just standing on what his call is, and that's all you can do as a ref. I mean, what a pressure cooker. I love Nick again. Replay. Yeah, replay hinder. Replay called. I agree. Good call. That's a beautiful drive sure, to the forehand, right over the line. It's a challenge. Yep, two bounces before the back wall. Another one. Wow. Let's look at this replay right here, Iceman. I love that pickup by Kane because that ball was nearly impossible to get. Both of them were getting really good, uh, you know, yeah, really I, good gets. I have to agree with that avoidable call because he was directly in front of him. He had Moscoso swung that racket. He would definitely hit Kane, no doubt about it. So Moscoso taking a breather here, 8 serving 12. Great shot by Kane. Corrado's got to keep the ball off the back wall on those drive serves. As he was doing earlier in game one, he was getting it right over the uh, service line and having the ball two bounce before the back wall. That one came off the back wall as a wrap. Kane was sitting on it with a forehand. Skip. But Nick so Lobb has been so effective. It, it, it is. Good one there. It is really, and it's something that you know one of one of Moscoso's serves that he does really well. He doesn't get enough credit for. It, he doesn't use it that much. Is his lob serve that he does on the right? Now that would be Kane's backhand. I would love to see Moscoso try that. Just short, very close.
Oh. Wow, wonderful shot. We had a good vantage point for that shot. We saw it perfectly. Yes, that was awesome. One of, one of the best 39 foot backhand splats that he can do consistently yeah. is Como. He's just so good at it. Well, Scalosa driving. Side out. Tail timeout. First one. Safety timeout. Tail timeout brought to us by Zurich Construction, of course, one of the IRT sponsors. Thank you for their event. And also, thank you for uh, you know, supporting the safety of the racquetball players, constructing athletes, and building people. Definitely Zurich Construction, one of our top sponsors. Also want to thank Gearbox Racquetball for providing sponsorship for the IRT. Gearbox Racquetball, of course, the black ball is the official ball of the International Racquetball Tour. And also the official ball of the International Racquetball Federation. 13-8, Kane going with the drive serve here. A oh, good one. It looked like Conrado was protecting the right yes. drive serve to the back forehand, and Kane caught him down the left side. It wasn't great. It came off the back wall, but kind of jammed him when he tried to get to the front wall on that. So we're at game point. Let's see. This sets up game point number one. Interesting. Going for the backhand. Nice get. Interesting on second serve, yeah. Kane drove serve to the right. Yes. And it was a really nice it drive was. serve to the right side. Uh, good job by Como to keep in the rally and get a side out. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that second serve to go that way. Eight serving 14. So game point number one was held at bay by Moscoso. Good cross court winner. That's two drive serves that have come off the yeah. back wall by Como. He's gonna have to get that dialed in. Definitely needs to make an improvement right there. It's just not wanting to feed, you know, opportunity to Kane, oh. but, you know, it's just, it seems that you have to put that 39 and a half feet. <laughs> it has to two bounce before he hits the back wall. Short serve. Kane's too good. Let's, been a let's see what he does for a second serve here. I'd like to see a Nick Love here, but it looks like he's going to go to a, a Z or another drive serve. Yeah, see, Z didn't get back there. It was yeah. short. Like, I just go to your Nick Lobb has been very really effective, yeah, in it, my opinion. It, it has been very effective. And, you know, uh, you know, but again, you know, you and I are on the court. Kane knows he, what he's doing. He's I don't have to do He's it. seeing something that we yeah. obviously are not. And so far, look, I mean, he's leading 14 8. Yeah. He'll get back to the Nick. That's a skip ball. Let's take a look at this replay right here, because it was a skip on that serve. Look at this ice man. Yeah. Yep. Let's let's take a look again at that. Interesting from this angle. Ooh. Kane checking again where the racket is. Wow, very good defense there by Moscoso. Down the line, wonderful play. Eight, 
Let's go, let's go, pumping himself up, yelling, let's go. All he needs to create his own momentum for he sure. He's get these drive serves in, Fabio, yeah. and keep it off the back wall. He was drive serving really, really well at the beginning of the match. Wow, He's good pickup. See. That's going to be tough. Nice pass. Wonderful pass, Moscoso. Creating some momentum for sure. Nine at serving 14. Around the world, Z got him into the back right corner, gave him just enough room to get his racket behind the ball, and he passed wide angle left, kept it off the back wall, resulting in a point. Good job by Como. And those are effective drive serves. It yeah. gives him uh, opportunity to be in the front court and put the ball away versus coming up off the back ball yeah. and Kane ripping the ball. And, and definitely Kane not returning what he's expecting. And Moscoso is just taking opportunity. He's made some mistakes before, but he can't afford not to right now. But yet, it's 10 to 14. He's not far. Screen serve. Good call. Pick up Moscoso. And I have to tell you, that was a good pass. Yes. But Moscoso managed to dig that one up wonderfully. And right now, Kane just focused on getting point number 15, kills that shot. I just want to thank everybody watching and tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. We're at the 2023 Golden State Open here at the Bay Club in Pleasanton, California. Of course, safety. Timeout by Zurich Construction. Thank you for your support. Well, Iceman, it's uh, interesting because we're in game one still. It's been nearly 40 minutes. So yeah. a chess match, yes. This is the uh, third time Kane's been in to serve out game one. See if he can close it out this time. Mm -hmm. Conrado with a good uh, couple points in there the last time in. See if he can get him out and get that drive serve coming back in again. Kane's going to go back to the drive serve here. But Moscoso, though, you got to give him credit. Doing a wonderful job of controlling the pace and timing of this match. Short call. Let's take a look at this replay right here. Was it short, in fact? Let's see. Here comes the serve. Yeah, it was short. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty far distance away from the court. It looks short for me, and the replay showed it. Yeah. Um, very, very close. We just got to make sure. There he goes, that Nick. So good. Wow. That's the first ball we've seen off the back wall. <laughs> Kane <laughs> pinched for a winner. Wonderful shot, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back after this two-minute break on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we are in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility, and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. 
adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marbles. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here from Pleasanton, California. 2023 Golden State Open for those who are just joining us. It's Kane Wazalanchuk to game number one, 15 to 10. Very very feisty match. Iceman, what are your thoughts on game one? It's amazing. I love uh, I love the way the guys are approaching. They're both dry serving a lot of power. Uh, both are uh, really putting a lot of pace on the ball. It looks slow because the glass court is a little bit slower than your typical court, but um, the guys are doing a phenomenal job. Kane's Knicks lobs are, again, being very effective. And if uh, Conrado can get his dry serves in, uh, that would be uh, important for him in game two. Uh, I'd like to give a shout-out to KW and Gutterman for helping us get this glass court out here from Chicago, Keith Miner and team, and, uh, you know, being a title uh, sponsor for uh, this tournament. So we appreciate all he does. If you see him, give a shout-out and a handshake to Keith. We appreciate all he does for racquetball. Absolute bomb by Conrado there on the first serve. Kane got the ball back and then set it up. Conrado for a down the line right kill. So good job. Again, be very important for Conrado to continue to get that first serve in. Double bounce before the back wall. It's a good way to start though for Moscoso. I'd like to see, you know, the strategy change from Roscoso. See what improvements he's doing to make the outcome different here. Wow. <laughs> kind of a, well, not exactly an overhead shot, but that was at least, what, about five feet up in the air? Something like that? It was shoulder level. Yeah? Yeah, definitely shoulder level. Just short. Okay, I'm going to go to the nick here. Let's see how effective it is. Just a little short gave Conrado enough time to get his racket up in front. He's been pinning him back in the back left corner. Uh, that one was just, it just wasn't deep enough. Next up on the glass court, Jake Brenbeck, Jaime Martel, following this match. Got a full day of racquetball 16s and quarters today. That is sweet. Very good shot there by Moscoso, yes. very clean. And you know, he had an open court right there, so he definitely had a lot of options. And I, but I love the choice that he made though. Yeah, he loves the corner play too. Yeah. You know, he's really awesome with that. So very effective yeah. on his drive serving, Fabio, like he did in game one. The question is, can he sustain that throughout this second game? He's going to need to to uh, try to close this one out later on as we continue through this second game. But so far, definitely Batari for serving well.
That ball's just up too high and Z serving, it's not getting to the side wall. K can step up with his forehand and just rip it. And that's what's happened with that. Um, Conrado tried the Nikolov last time, was a little short, just gonna have to come up with a better second serve. Skip ball on that, that's a bad miss. They're coming on the wrap around to his forehand. We're at 1-3 in game two. Beautiful drive serve to the forehand. Now if Kane can get his drive serves in right and left, it's just gonna be a lot to handle there. Good job by Conrado there. Picked up that drive serve to the left. Back in the box. So close, short ball called by Nicholas Rifle, our referee for this match. Right now, Moscos is in a good pace though. He's leading 3-2. I'd rather see him the serve be short yeah. versus coming off and wrapping off the of back course. wall, you know? Of course, I agree. Good Nick Lob there yeah. by Conrado. Always good to get those type of easy points. That's a good serve. That's He's it. really dialed in on that. That was skip ball. Came questioning it with Nick. It was skip ball. So really good. Uh, Serving right over the short line. That's what he needs to do. Let's see if he goes back down the right here soon. But right now he's working on the left side with his drive serve, the Canes forehand. Another one. Kane saying that's exactly what I did on the last one. He's back in the box now. Thanks for everyone watching. Continue to share the feed. We appreciate you being up with us this morning on the West Coast and out east in the afternoon. Nice, Kane. Good job with the pinch in the front left corner. Good job by Conrado retrieving. Coming off the side over there a little bit, and Conrado got his backhand on it, ripped it. Good job getting the side out. Back to the drive serve. Good Nick Law by Como. Look Man, at that. What a wonderful shot. Well, that's one of his favorites. I'm sure you've seen it yeah. over the years, uh, Fabio, with <laughs> yeah. him in his left corner backhand let's from deep look, court. Let's take a look at this replay and appreciate how beautiful that shot was. Look how he prepares himself to just flat out destroy that ball in the left corner. And splat rolled out. And even Kane's like, hey, that's a great shot. And it is. Back to the action. Very effective drive serve to the right side down Kane's backhand. So Conrado really getting his drive serves in this first half of the second game.
doing a good job. And he's in up to a 7-3 lead, game two. Kane was going left, he had him. Just short on that drive serve. <laughs> oh, Skip Ball oh, had it exactly what he wanted. Wasn't the best Nick Lobb. Kane cut it out of the air, went right. Conrado was sitting on it with his forehand. Just skipped it. Came back to the Nick. Missed opportunity there for Moscoso. It was. He had a golden opportunity right there. Let's take a look at a replay right there. We have to. <laughs> I think it's uh, mandatory if you will look at that. It's a good serve by Kane. And Moscoso just, wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's a highlight reel for today. That's a top 10 play for today, Iceman. Yeah, this is beautifully done. Good job by both players. Como's drive serve to the left was really, really good. Kane had a good track on it. And got a side out, so well done. Second to four for any wet spots. Good court. shot. Yep, good Cross. shot straight in. Yep. Solid play. I don't know why uh, Kane is looking at the referee, but it was a solid play. Cross court winner. Clean. No question about that if the shot was good or not. Guys are playing high level racquetball this morning, as we expect for these top players. Drive servers have been amazing in rally play. Oh, it's a great serve. Skip ball by Kane. Had to reach to try to get that. Conrado's been dialed in on his drive serves the second game. I haven't seen one come off the back wall. And that's what he needs to do. So good job by him. Now he's up to an 8-4 lead, game two. Oh, crack serve ace. Wow. That's a good yeah. job. He changed the angle on that. He changed the angle on that. Came in a little bit Let's take a look at the tighter replay. angle, yes. Yeah, good serve. Definitely. Moscoso on point with that. It's 
so try, to, try to go for that pass and work out. Yeah, but I think it's a missed opportunity there by Moscoso. Well, the, the entire rally started off with a, a serve off the back wall, and he was scrambling for the entire rally to, to make it happen. And Kane was in uh, in control of that of that one. So I want to thank this opportunity. Thank, uh, of course, Zurich Construction. Safety timeout, of course. Colorado's got to keep that drive serve off the back wall. Really, really doing a good job this second game. Good anticipation by Conrado, got over there to the forehand. It's a good dry serve by Kane, wasn't bad. He got over there quickly, he's able to drive the ball down the right side. So good, so good. <laughs> that point set up by his dry serve. Awesome job by Conrado. Skip ball. Skip ball wow. by Nick. Might want to replay that one and see what it looks like. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. It does look like a skip on the replay. the statement there. Yep, ball. Yep. Timeout, Kane. Well, timeout taken by Kane Wazalenta. Players will take a one minute break. We will too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck, and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just. I've always loved how Gearbox is felt, and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here for those who are just joining us. 2023 Golden State Open here in Pleasanton, California at the Bay Club. I'm Fabio Soto for the IRT and Richard Eisman. I got to ask you, Richard, this is uh, definitely a turnaround from game number one. We're seeing a whole different perspective here. So Moscoso's leading. 11 to 4. I yep. don't 
think he's ever uh, had that big of a lead uh, versus uh, Kane Wazelanchuk in his career. And, uh, you know, suffice it to say, Conrado looks solid. I don't know what your uh, opinion is on that, but I like, I like his physical language. I like his demeanor. He's, yep. he's doing really well. He's fighting, and his dry servers are coming in and setting up his in rally opportunities to score points, and he's been executing, and really that's been the key of the game too. Like dry serving over the line, keeping it off the back wall, been very effective. Uh, and his in, his in rally play has been great. Four serving 11. It's short. Oh my goodness. That, that ball made the ceiling. I thought it was yeah. not gonna make it. That's I, a it, it's it seemed it seemed as you know, it was coming off the back wall, but it seemed that it wasn't hit the right spot, but it got there. But you know, I love the resolve of Moscoso. And then Kane looked back at the front corner because they thought that was gonna roll out and it, it didn't, and Moscoso was right there to uh, kill the ball with the straight end shot. <laughs> Nice right corner pinch. But you gotta you gotta wonder, Ice Man, what is this, what this is doing in terms of time wise to Waz Lynch because it, it is now officially an over an hour match. And he's you know, of course, the longer this match goes, it should be better for Moscoso. He's a twenty eight year old young gentleman and Mos and of course Waz Lynch is forty two. That's a great serve. Ace serve right over the line. Wow. Yeah. So fourteen no, thirteen serving four. See what this goes. This has uh, Iceman so far tiebreaker written all it over. It does, yes. It's a great shot. Everything set off the drive serve, Fabio. Yeah. This whole second game has all been set up off the drive yeah. serve. It's again, not 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 to leave anything to chance. Moscoso is really creating his own opportunities and he's taking advantage of it. Not too many unforced errors as he had in game number one. Let's see if Moscoso serves for the game. 14-4. Great get. Look at that. There. Kane just finding that corner. Yes. Moscoso didn't like that when he, he thought he meant set up for two. But listen, he defended really well in that rally. He did. He, he retrieved did. Uh, retreat. awesome. Just keep the ball in play. I think maybe maybe Kane is thinking about the tiebreaker right now. I don't know. Oh, I think going the wrong way. Yep. Interesting shot right there. Moscoso takes game number two, 15 4, ladies and gentlemen. For Fantastic Friday and for the first match of the day, we're going to start with the tiebreaker. We'll be back shortly here for game number three on IRT. matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. 
I think for fans it's gonna be more enjoyable. The rallies are gonna be a little longer. So it's gonna be fun. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is, uh, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. 2023 Golden State Open. I gotta tell you folks, this is exciting. First match of the round of 16s and Iceman, a tiebreaker nonetheless. I mean, yes. you saw the rhythm that was going on in game number one. Kane Wazanchuk took that one 15 to 10, but after that uh, bit of a scuffle with uh, Moscoso and the referee with that serve, yes, uh, you, we thought that things were gonna turn around and we thought it was gonna be a shutout. However, Moscoso, again, like a true champion, comes from behind makes a comeback, takes game number two. Now, Convincingly. Yeah, convincingly, no yep. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, 15-4, the numbers say it all, but here's the thing, though. A reset button has been hit. It's a race to 11 right now. Yes. What are your thoughts? I think, for me, the drive serve is going to be the determinant factor on this match. Um, I'd like to see what... Uh, I'd like to see what Kane thinks with his Nick Lob. It seems like he's had opportunities in the rally on his Nick Lob with Como cutting the ball off and his uh, return on that. Kane's got a brilliant drive serve as well. So it'd be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah. If Como keeps that drive serve right over the line, it's been very effective. Well, that could be uh, a huge benefit for him in, uh, in this break until 11. And another good drive serve to start so, off the breaker. And, so point. And that's the yep. pressure that Moscoso needs to keep on Kane. You know, he saw the formula. What was his success in game number two? You said it yourself. The serve yep. was game him opportunity. So he needs to keep pushing that button. Side out. Yeah, he knew that was a little long on the serve and gave Kane a, a full swing on his forehand. So uh, just a little bit too long for that. Came back in the box and in the drive serve. Wow, good. good coverage. Good Great coverage. coverage. And you know what, Iceman? Moscoso doesn't get enough credit for being a good defensive player, right? We all see him like shooter. He's a big shooter, yep. big offensive player, but he doesn't get enough credit for that. I mean, of course, you know, and, and Kane mentioned it back in uh, back in Boston. He said, you know, it's not about being a defensive player. It's about creating an offensive opportunity with a defensive stance. That's what he just did. And that's exactly what Moscoso just did. Oh, good, good pass shot. down the left, yes. That was a good job. Conrado had what he wanted there, just missed his opportunity there, and good job by Kane to finish that out. Kane knows he had an opportunity there and just left it up on the left side. Conrado with a 
pass down the left side with his backhand, finish that rally out. Back in the box at 1-0. Wow. Good pass right. Wonderful pass. And yes. you know what? That's that was challenging because that wasn't as far away from as close as possible. King was on the right side and went right back down the right side, but good good angle and good height on that pass to the right. Nick to the right. Look at that. Shoot that. Wow. And that seemed, that overhead shot seemed like it skipped. It seemed that way. But there's no stopping this right now. And yeah. Moscoso still has the lead. He's one serving zero. Yeah, Corrado was in the right position. He's got his court yes. positioning on those, you know, on the, on Kane's shot was, was perfect. He was right there and he pinched to the right corner. So he's covering the court really nice. Just a little long in the drive serves for Conrado. Needs to be short versus coming off the back wall. Kane's forehand's too good. Got the side out. That's a great serve by Kane to the right. Gets on the board. Yeah, finally a point there from Wazalanchuk. Yeah, gets on the board at 1-1 now. Good job by Conrado. So here's a stat for you, Iceman, and people listening here. So the last point that Kane scored before this previous one, he was down four to six. Oh wow! On game number two. So he's been in a drought. That's, that's a, a twelve-point drought. That's a big gap. That's a big, big gap. Even though we hit the reset button, he was down four six. That was the last time he scored. That's a bad cutoff. That's skip a skip right there. there. Yeah. See if uh, Conrado can get his drive serves in. If he can get it over the line and off the back wall, it'd be a very effective for him as it was in game two. He's been a little bit long on the last couple here. Oh, missed opportunity. All that, that was long, it didn't wrap around and hit the side wall first, so it came straight out. Kane lunged and got that back up to the front wall and a missed opportunity by Conrado there. Came back in the box. Short serve. Looks like you're gonna go Nick Lobb to the right again. Oh no, high Lob Z, something different. Wow. What a short hob, left hand, tough corner splat pinch. Let's take a look at this replay. Wow.
skip ball. It's a skip. Yep, yep that's skip. But Another very effective drive serve by yeah, Conrado. But I love how he's just walking forward. I mean, that's like we, we I think Albo Beltran said it best. <laughs> you know, if you're a professional racquetball player, you're also a salesman. Yep. You got to sell it. As obvious in, in the sound of the, of the yeah. ball hitting the front wall as well. Job by Kane, wide angle passing. Conrado was going to go up and cover the pinch, and Kane pushed him back to the back, and he couldn't get the ball. It's a good job. And a good job by Kane tracking down that drive serve was another really effective one. Conrado's kind of dialed in his drive serve the last couple of times. A good job by Kane getting back in the box. Good Nick Lobb. There oh. you go. Fabio Conrado's really been doing a great job. Second game into the third with court coverage. Not giving up any easy points to Kane to get him on the board. And he's doing a really good job tracking the in, ball, in play rallies and then putting the ball away. Well, I have to tell you, it's uh, interesting to see how change has been made during this match. Yeah, double bounce, that's a good call. Yep. Change has been made and, you know, be that as it may, I mean, through history that I've seen over the years, Conrado Moscoso play and, you know, overcoming this hurdle because as you said again in the beginning of the match, it's his record versus Kane is 0-6. Yes. So overcoming this, you know, psychologically. <laughs> Wow, good job. Great get there by by Kane. Good job by Conrado Cross with court. a left pass. See, he didn't go bottom board. He just yeah. had to have a good angle, had it up a little bit, about a foot off the front wall. It's difficult to track down that black ball when you pass wide angle. So it's it's the mental factor that I, 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 I you know, I'm sorry, but I always focus on that more than the physical and the skill. I think the mental toughness is so important. And Moscoso is proving that, you know, he has the mentality to come back and win this. And I've seen him overcome such hurdles. I remember uh, in 2019 when we went to Bolivia at Cochabamba, the American Iris Tournament, he was down bad versus Rocky Carson, like bad. I remember that he lost the first one. That's a great setup. Yeah. He, he lost the first one. He barely, barely won the second one. And he came back like a true champion to come back in tiebreaker and, and defeat Carson in the final. So, I mean, that says a lot. Yes. And Moscoso has a mental toughness, the, the, the psychological awareness to power through any situation, and he's proving that right now. Now, for Kane, different different scenario altogether. He just needs to regroup, and, you know, mental toughness is there, and that's for sure. But, again, but this match has been going on for an hour and 20 minutes. So you got to wonder, Iceman, how that has taken a toll on Kane. Yeah. More than anything, Fabio, what I'm seeing is is uh, Como's drive serves being really, really effective. Uh, Kane getting the ball back, and then and then Como executing a third shot, uh, a kill. So um, as long as he keeps that going, I think it's going to be beneficial, obviously, to Como on this third third game. Good pass down, down the, line. the right. Good job. So 5-1 Moscoso. Kane cut that ball out of the air. Moscoso was on the right side of the court. Kane drove right. Mm -hmm. Como straight in with the kill point. This is kind of uncharted territory for Moscoso versus Kane. Nice. Wow. 
We we got to see that replay. I think uh, we're even. Uh, Como had one earlier yes. in the match. Yes. I mean, uh, the crowd loves it. Let's, let's take a look at this. This is also a top 10 play of the day. Look at this. I got to tell you, though, not to compare, but Kane, Kane shot that. It, what Kane shot was much cleaner than yes. Moscoso when he did it. it. Much cleaner. They all count the same at the end of the day. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's a point. How crazy was that shot, ladies and gentlemen? Let us know. Let's let's take a look at this again. We, we got it. We got to take a look at this ice man. How clean and how cool was that? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you can make that up. <laughs> oh. You, you can also make that up. You know, Corrado loves that backhand splat to the yes. front left corner. So. But you know that's the thing when you when Kane does that high lob neck. That's that's the risk you take. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe against a mere mortal like you and me. It's, it'd be no problem. But Moscoso, not a mere mortal. He's the number three ranked player in the IRT currently. The current IRF Pan American champion. <laughs> Wonderful. So that was a great pass by Kane. Typically you would see that ball come off the back wall, not on the show court with the black ball, the gearbox sleek back black ball it's difficult uh, to track that down in the back corner so Como tried to it just died in the back left corner Kane shot in the front court, that left yeah. kind of inside out, pinched to the left corner. Good job. Had his body right, weight balanced correctly. A nice pinch to the front left corner. Kane needed that desperately to get off a of one, start getting some points on the board. So good job by Kane. Wow, good shot. Kane took a little pace off of that drive serve. It was effective down the left side. Um, good job by Como finishing out that rally. We're at 5-2, game three. By Kane. Well, what, Good a, job. what a fantastic shot. And I love the angle that we have to appreciate the beauty of that shot. Let's take a look at this replay. Wow. <laughs> Good job by both players. Awesome court coverage. Side out call. Five serving two still. You know, Iceman, even though it went to tiebreaker, this scheme this game seems far from over. Oh it, it does. You need a player racking up a lot of points in the box. That's an awesome serve. Oh, on the knees, Moscoso. good shot by Corrado. Awesome job. Yeah, we're gonna look at a replay of this. What a nice rally by Conrado. Down on one knee, 
for a straight in kill. That's a good job. Of course, want to thank uh, Zurich Construction, of course, for the continued support. Sponsorship here with the IRT, their safety timeout. Always uh, concerned for the safety of our players. Rally wins like that can be huge. Yeah. For most goals go. He's trying to make get his first win versus Kane since they've been playing. And that was an awesome point that he just earned. Took some pace off of that drive, sir. It was short. See what Conrado does here with the second serve. Looks like a Nick Lobb. Wow, Great interesting Nick bounce. Lobb. And yes, it, it's just the bounce that it came off. It's just, wow. You gotta, you gotta yeah. wonder, you know, how, how he targets that area. How this benefits him because Moscoso right now leading seven to two. No timeouts taken yet. I honestly think this would be a good opportunity for a timeout. I don't know what you think. You we'll probably go one more here. Can't take him home with you, Fabio, like we said no, yesterday. Of course not. Uncharted waters though for Moscoso. Going back to the Nick here again as well. Good, good pickup by Moscoso. Not that one though. A good straight in by Kane on Just the left. A bullet right there. Yep. Down the line. Como missed that Nick though, and that set up the whole rally in favor of of Kane on that. You know. So it's officially an hour and a half match. That's a long time. That's man. a long time. You gotta wonder, you know, because they're gonna play quarterfinals later tonight. Yeah. So you gotta wonder, you know, how how this takes a toll on them. Of course, want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Want to say hi to everybody watching Canada, U.S., Latin America. Un saludo a toda la gente de Bolivia que que está sintonizando y viendo. Saludo que están viendo a Conrado Moscoso aquí en la ronda de 16 contra Kane Watzelenchuk. Eh, tiene un récord de 0 y 6 de victorias contra Kane. Esta es una oportunidad para que Conrado rompa esa racha. Back to the action. And Texas. And Texas. There you go. <laughs> You gotta, I mean, you gotta, you gotta imagine that was coming. You gotta imagine that. I, I tell you, Conrado, Kane's not getting any easy points. No, that drive serve was awesome to the right side. Yes, he, he tracked it down, got in the rally, and put it a ball away. Okay. So it's an we equipment timeout. Got a broken string. A broken string. Yep. Yes, he showed. He's showing the referee. So thirty seconds of uh, equipment timeout. So Iceman, again, you know, far from over. Seven two. No timeout taken yet. What are your thoughts? Kane's not getting any easy points, even no. on his awesome drive serve. Like, yeah. And when Conrado's getting an opportunity in the rally, he's putting the ball down and away. And, you know, he's creeping away, scoring a point at a time, one here, one there, and we're at a 7-2 lead. So every point is huge for Conrado to get over this hump of getting his first win over Kane. Well, you got to figure that. Conrado... He's not thinking of winning the match. He's thinking of getting point number eight right now. That's his focus. He doesn't need four. He That's needs one. Can't get four at a time. So you're right. Stay present. Do one point at a time. Good Down job by Kane. Kane is saying that on the right that that was a double it, bounce. It could have been, like, it was close. It was I, close. I, I can't, we're so far away, I can't tell. Yeah. But it, it could have gone either way with the call. Not from our angle, for sure. Okay. 
It's tough for Nick. He's trying to do the best he can. Like, he can only call it the way he sees it, you know? That's it's, what he does. And he's, st he's standing on his calls, and he's a good ref. Kane did a good job by finishing the rally out. He's back where he needs to be in the box. It's Moscoso taking, I think, a little too much time here. And he's a young gun. Two seven. Crack ace to the that's left. That's a point. Wow, that's a wonderful change of pace there. That's that's huge for Kane. That is. You know, if he can get. Another one or two like that, he's right back in this match. Maybe it's a momentum changer, we'll see. Drive serving again. <laughs> Replay called. Well, I don't Kane, know about you, Kane, Iceman. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little 50-50 on this one. So Kane's asking Nick, does he want me to swing? Because yeah. he would hit. It was super close. It was close. It was super close. It was close. Also, wonderful play. I mean, that's exactly when it, when it's in his wheelhouse like that in his backhand with a lick serve. Wow, it just finds a way to put it out of the way and go back to serve. Moscoso, four away from Moscoso, four away from Wazalenchik, and four from victory. Short serve. Back to the Nick Lob here. That's it. Conrado. He's thinking about it. Again, I'd love to see him do that lob that he does to the right. It's, it's wonderful serve. Great hands, great court coverage. I love the anticipation. I love the knowledge. And he's showing just really high court IQ, very high IQ. Anticipation is on point. An effective Nick Lob to get him in that position. Yeah. bounce just need a little bit more angle to the back left yeah. it was too much in the middle of the court. it was it gave a lot of swinging room for Wazan check to his yeah. forehand Kane took care of that business with his forehand back in the box here at 3 8 that's a miss point for Wazan check four serving eight kind of one of the first easy points Kane's got in a while you know all set up on his drive serve. Nonetheless, it was a, a easy one with a skip. See, that's Great. that's that's exactly what he's done in a few points that I don't like. He's just tapping the ball, but it's high. It's he's giving Moscoso enough time to get to that one. He's doing it straight. In. He's not even looking for the corners. He's just looking straight in. And Moscoso has been covering the court yeah. nicely the last two games, and his. His uh, backhand pinches in the front court were awesome. Skip ball. That's a skip. Yep. So nine serving four.
the serve from Moscoso. What? He's saying that he hit him with. He's saying the ball hit him. I didn't see the ball hit him. Again, our angle's at the back left corner, so we're not straight onto the court, so, so I couldn't see the, it. Did the ball clip Moscoso? That's what he says, yeah. All right. So they're calling a replay here. Yeah, replay's been called. Serve from Moscoso. Clean shot. Yeah, set up on a great serve. And 38 feet, front wall, side wall, cracked out. And he's not going to forgive anything. You know, he has a shot right there to go full offense, and he will. That's what he's been doing so far. So we're at match point, Fabio. Match point number one for Conrado Moscoso. Can this be the first time that he defeats Wazelenchuk in the IRT? Let's see. A six match run so far for Kane. <laughs> There it is. There it, it comes is. to an end. Moscoso defeat Kane Watsalenchuk with the numbers of 10 15, 15 4, and 11 4. I see a very happy Conrado Moscoso. You got to wonder, Iceman, what is going through his mind after, you know, such a long drought of, of victories? Uh, never defeated Kane before in his career. And it's, you got you to gotta wonder what a big stepping stone this well, is for him. Well, it's just one of the other things that he hasn't accomplished in the past that he did this time. So. Uh, what a great job by Como after that first game, dialing in his drive serves and then executing in the game uh, during the game play and the way he flowed and covered the court. He played uh, brilliantly. So a wonderful play. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have Jaime Martel versus Jake Brandenbeck. Stay tuned here. Thank you, Iceman, for the IT. I am Fabio Soto, and we'll be back in about 15 minutes on IRT Live.